In the 19th century, the small town of Atchison, Kansas, fell victim to an unfortunate tragedy. A young girl named Sally was being rushed to her doctor's house by her mother. Sally was a frail, pale-skinned child. She had wide brown eyes and stood just under five feet tall. Sally and her mother rushed into the doctor's house, where he guided Sally down an ill-lit hallway to the examination room. The examination room was located on the first floor of the house, where you would typically find a dining room. After a quick examination of the young girl, the doctor determined that the shooting pain Sally felt was due to her appendix getting ready to rupture. He laid Sally down on the cold steel operating table in the room and unrolled his cloth of sterile surgical tools. He reached for a syringe and a small bottle of anesthesia that he would inject into Sally prior to performing the surgery. At this point, Sally's pain had intensified. The doctor could tell that there wasn't much time to remove the appendix. Normally, after administering anesthesia, you would wait for a period of time to allow the medicine to take effect. However, in this case, the doctor was frantically scrambling to get his tools ready to operate. He fastened the young girl to the table to prevent her from pushing and kicking him during the surgery. All the while, her pain increased. The doctor took a deep breath and steadily made an incision on Sally's side. The young girl screamed out in tremendous pain. Due to the urgency of the situation, the doctor had to operate before the anesthesia had a chance to fully take effect. The pain from every push, pull and slice was now coursing through the girl's body. She was living a torturous nightmare with no means of escape. As the doctor continued the operation, the pain overwhelmed Sally causing her to fall unconscious from the relentless suffering she was enduring. She was never to wake from this state again. The extreme pounding of the heart as the body entered fight or flight mode had led to significant blood loss. The year was 1993, and a young couple poised to embark on the journey of starting a family had journeyed to the small town of Atchison in search of a new residence. Fatigued and a touch agitated from weeks of house tours, they finally discovered a place that resonated with them. The Sally House, as it's now known, presented itself as a quaint abode, offering all the amenities a new family could desire. As the family began to settle into their newfound home, an undercurrent of unease began to weave its way into their daily lives. For the father, it started innocuously a sporadic, unsettling feeling, a shiver that occasionally permeated the air, raising the hair on his arms and legs. Nothing that warranted a second thought until these innocent sensations morphed into something darker and unexplainable. First, the fires ignited. The father meticulously scrutinized every outlet and electrical connection, yet his efforts were in vain. Puzzled, he scratched his head, unable to pinpoint the source of these sporadic blazes. The couple repeatedly summoned the fire department to probe the origin of these outbreaks, but the firefighters were confounded. The fires seemed to spring up spontaneously. Then, scratches manifested on the father's body. One night, as he went about his customary bedtime routine, he noticed a series of small scratches running down his left arm. Already burdened by anxiety from the inexplicable fires that had plagued them, he couldn't shake the conviction that there was something more sinister about these scratches than mere accidents. In the ensuing weeks, more scratches materialized. However, these were not the superficial marks he had previously experienced. They were etched deep into his skin, inflicting pain. Much like the fires, they appeared out of nowhere. As weeks turned into a continuous cycle of dread, the couple's apprehensions about their living situation grew. Their fervent desire to leave the house was met with the harsh reality of their circumstances. They were trapped, ensnared in an environment that bred ceaseless anxiety. The mounting dread correlated with a surge in inexplicable events. Inanimate objects within the house began to adopt a life of their own. Chairs slid across the floor, moved by unseen forces. Books and trinkets rearranged themselves into otherworldly patterns, and the father's belongings seemed to migrate to peculiar locations. He found himself immobilized by disbelief at the surreal phenomenon unraveling before him. Chilling pockets of cold air materialized, particularly in the dining room where the family had shared countless meals. Amidst room temperature air, these frigid zones emerged, defying explanation. Searching for a rational cause, the father was confronted once more by the unexplainable. The source of the cold seemed to defy reason, arising spontaneously. For the young couple, these occurrences became the tipping point. 
Encumbered by a sense of dread and anxiety that affected their well-being, they reached a painful decision to move on. Sleepless nights and constant apprehension stemming from an oppressive malevolent presence had taken an immense toll. It was time to leave, to break free from the clutches of a house tainted by inexplicable forces. The couple's fate after leaving the house remained shrouded in mystery, yet their accounts left an indelible enigma lingering within the house's walls, one that demanded further exploration. Subsequent years witnessed a slew of paranormal investigations, drawing in numerous witnesses who reported uncannily similar experiences. Reports abound of objects moving of their own accord, chilling encounters with icy breath, dramatic fluctuations in temperature, and the appearance of phantom scratches, all meticulously documented. The Sally House, ever enigmatic, retains its grip on the realm of paranormal fascination and investigation. Over time, the house has cemented its status as one of the most haunted locations in the United States, owing to the numerous accounts of paranormal encounters shared by those who have lived within its confines or dared to visit. Its history, marked by the tragic narrative of Sally's surgery, the haunting experiences of the young couple, and the compelling testimonies of witnesses has woven an intricate tapestry of enigma and allure. The house's mystique has garnered attention through documentaries, dedicated paranormal investigations, and literary works. It has captivated the imagination of paranormal enthusiasts, inquisitive investigators, and those enticed by the allure of its undisclosed secrets. If enjoyed today's story, you hunger for more stories encompassing the dark and mysterious, Consider tapping the like button and subscribing to stay up on a future offerings.